Here you go, children. Here you go, child. Wow, this is lame. Wow, I got a yearbook. No fair. Maybe if I knocked first, I could have gotten the yearbook. That's right. Don't be like me and order your yearbook now. Good morning, Bridgewater. Coming to you live from Studio 509. It's time for Bobcat News. Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Welcome to another great edition of Bobcat News. I'm Jada Matik. And I'm Salma Tijar. Red Ribbon Week continues here at Bridgewater. Be sure to wear a red shirt tomorrow to stand against drugs. This coming Saturday, you can join Bridgewater, Bridge, Bridgewater's SGA for Breast Cancer Awareness Walk at Lake Eola at 9 a.m. Come to show your support. This week is Principal Appreciation Week. There will be a poster in the cafeteria where all students can sign and let Mr. Jackson see your support here at Bridgewater. Hey students, starting, to, starting this Monday, leave your lunch boxes at home and start eating at the cafeteria. If you, if you do this every day for two weeks, then, we, then you will have the chance to win GameStop or PlayStation gift card. The manager will track who's eating lunch every day in the cafeteria. <laughs> a winner will be selected November 12th. This is a reminder to all after-school YMCA students. There will be no YMCA tomorrow after school. You must find a way to get home. Now it's time to check with Bridgewater Sports with Natasha Mendez. Hey sports fans, it's Natasha. Volleyball season is underway and your Bridgewater Bobcats have started things off with a commanding, with, with a commanding win over Sunbridge. The action continues as the next game of the young season will be tonight as your Bobcats hit the road to take on Southwest Middle School. First game starts at 5 o'clock. Go out to support your Bobcats. Now it's time to turn to Belle Ryson with your Bridgewater forecast. Belle. Bobcat Day is shaping up. Today, sun continues to fill the skies with highs in the mid-80s. Today's joke of the day is, what do you call a magical dog? A labracadabrador. Now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Rain will be making its way into the area over the next couple of days, but cooler temperatures will be shortly behind. Now, back to the desk. Thank you, Belle. It is time to check in with one of our counselors here at Bridgewater, Miss P. Good morning, Bobcat family. It's Miss P again, your school counselor here to give you some tips and things to think about over the next week. Um, I do want to remind you guys that our October um, characteristic of the month is cooperation. So we talked a lot about self-awareness. We talked a lot about social awareness. And as we are coming into your language arts classes, completing the Teen Safety Matters program, those are the concepts that we are going to be focusing on with you guys throughout this year. Um, we do want to remind you that report cards are coming out on Monday the 29th, so make sure that you guys are working with your teachers to make sure that those grades are as strong as they can possibly be. Um, the last time I was with you, we did do um, a little bit of a mindful minute, um, so I just want to review. Um, the last time we talked about making sure that you are using kind words with yourself, because again, being self-aware and being socially aware starts with you, and making sure that you're treating yourself in a kind manner. For our Mindful Minute this week, I want to go over using mindful breaths with you guys. So we're going to practice that right now. Um, so not just for the students, for the staff as well. I'm watching you guys. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to practice using mindful breaths to center ourselves. So the first thing we want you guys to do is you're going to sit mindfully with your spine straight and your body relaxed. So go ahead, take a second, relax those shoulders, relax those feet. Every morning, we want you to notice your breathing. Take three soft, slow, mindful breaths and feel them in your body. 
Breathe in and feel air coming into your nose. Breathe out and count one. Breathe in again and notice air filling your lungs. Does your rib cage go all the way out? Breathe out, count two. Breathe in and see the air expanding in your middle. Does your tummy look like a round ball? Breathe out, count three. You're gonna repeat this for two more rounds of breathing into your nose, into your lungs, and into your tummy. Breathe mindfully to feel awake and ready for the day. The reason why we want you guys to focus on these mindful minutes is it can really help you get to a place of calm. We encourage you to use these mindful breaths if there's a particular period that you're concerned about or a test or a quiz, this can help focus you. If you have any questions about these mindful minutes, please stop by your school counseling office and we will support you with that. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a wonderful Bridgewater day. Thank you for joining us for Bobcat News. You can use. And as always, have a great day.